This is Kathy from Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts. Today I'm coming on with a short video to show you how to sublimate on toilet paper. Let's begin. You're gonna need three or four items. You're gonna need toilet paper, of course, and the better two ply is better than one ply. This is Scott tissue here, so it's not the best, but if you have Charmin or something like that, it will work much better. You're gonna need something to sublimate with. So you're gonna uh, have a cutout that says, this is where all your beer money goes. And it's got a guy peeing in the toilet. Nice gag gift. And you're gonna need some polycrylic. Now I've tried other sprays, but this one works every time, okay? And the other um, item you would need would be scissors if you had to cut your um, sublimation paper. All right, let's begin. So, um, I already have one done, but I'm just gonna show you real quick how you would spray on your paper. And I have it on the heat press right now because that's where the camera is, but you can do it. If you do it on the heat press, it'll dry quicker, but you could just do it on a table. So you just wanna um, take little light sprays, figure out which square you wanna use. I'm gonna use the second one. And you just wanna hold it up away Kind of away from it you don't want to get it wet you just want to kind of make sure you cover it um so you want to be like i would say four or five inches away from it and then you want it to dry for about um if it's under the heat press about 10 minutes but if it's on a table or something i would say 20 25 minutes okay i'm going to move this because i already have one done and let's sublimate it now again um, I'm using one ply tissue, it's got tissue, the cheap stuff, but you can use two ply and it'll work better. It won't stick or anything. Mine is going to stick a little bit. So I'm going to take my printable, my sublimation paper, and I'm going to put it right on the second square. And then I'm just going to take regular copy paper to cover it. And then I have my heat press set at 345, and I'm gonna let it go for about 45 minutes. And then um, it should be ready. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my new channel. My motto is teaching you things in five steps or less. I try to keep everything really short and to the point so you're up and crafting in no time. All right, we have about 15 seconds to go. All right, so we're down to 41. I had it at 75, so I'm just counting backwards. Um, so I think we have about five seconds left. And then it should be ready. Now you have to pull it real slowly because otherwise it will tear. All right, so I'm gonna take, sometimes this copy paper um, sticks more than anything else. So you just wanna pull that off slowly. And again, like I said, if you have thicker tissue, um, like Charmin or something like that, um, it won't stick. This stuff is cheap old. And it sticks so just a little bit. That's that's probably why they say don't use the first square because I don't care if the first square tears because I did the second square. So that didn't do too good. All right, but it still did not mess up our tissue yet, so we're doing good. All right. Now, still have it intact, let's pull up our actual sublimation paper. And I don't know who I borrowed this from. Um, but it's a video online that shows you how to do it. And um, 
I end up giving the roll to my son because he loves beer. And so, okay, so this came out not as dark as I would like it, but because I have one ply tissue, if I made it any hotter, it would um, really burn it. It would stick and it would mess up. So I'm just gonna show you how that, it tore a little bit. But as you can see, this is how it, how it would look. But if you had two ply, if I had two ply tissue, it would be even darker than that. All right. It only took me 20 tries to do that, but I finally got it. And so now you could take the first one off if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that because I think I did mine over um, two. So it's in the between one and two. But anyway, that's how you would sublimate on that. Then you would tear this one off. And where are my scissors? I could just not necessarily tear it, but I could just, of course, my scissors are not right where I want them to be. So I was just going to show you if you cut them. You know what? I have so many pairs of scissors. But whenever I get ready to do something, I can never find a pair of scissors. Here's some. So you could just cut right there and then put this in a nice little I use like my t-shirt containers and put them in there and then um, take the heat gun and melt it over it um, but anyway that's the way it would go so I hope you like this video it's kind of cute, even though, like I said, I, I didn't realize I didn't have the two-ply tissue like I had before. But it still works. You just have to be careful pulling it off. All right. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.